Well, after one hell of a weekend in which, you know, Big Boy Sports finally goes to a Frisco Fighters game. Finally, I went to an indoor football game. Finally. I know. Crazy, right? What a great time it was um, going up to the America Center. It was a great experience. Um, met, uh, met some familiar faces you might know, you know. The guys over at the UFL podcast, of course, Zach Kyle and the ref and some other individuals, you know, at the game. Um, of course, you know, I did not get a ball. I did get a free little towel, but I did get the ball. Um, there was a ball that came over to us, but ultimately Zach got the ball. You know, he got the ball and it, it felt real good, though, like. You know, feeling that ball, it's a small, smaller ball than some of the other, you know, balls that have been around the indoor arena scene. But man, again, what an experience! And of course, you know, of course, the Frisco Fighters still have never lost to the Duke City Gladiators, so that that is a good thing all on its own. Um, yeah. So that was that experience again. Hopefully, if things you know were different, I probably would have went, you know, later on in the season. But this was the best time that I could do it, seeing as now, now you probably, you guys probably all know that you know these next couple months are going to be the busiest months of the year for me, you know, because of state testing, yada yada, and all that stuff. And of course, you know, lots of videos coming over the next couple of months. So, you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna be real busy here. Um, so, what, what do we start with this week? What do we start with this week? I'm not even sure. I guess we could talk about the AFL deals with gray television, I guess. I mean, that's fine. It's cool and all, you know. Just type of type of TV deals you want, you know, local TV deals that may actually get you some eyeballs and maybe actually get you some money. But ultimately, I really don't have anything else to say about it. That that's about it. I know there's like, you know, the whole NFL Network thing, but I mean, yeah, eh, it is what it is with that deal. So the AFL's next announcement is you know about training camps and stuff like that we're 26 days well less than 26 days now because of you know april 1st is now over uh, so we're getting closer and closer to seeing what the afl 3.0 can actually do we'll see if things really go the way they are supposed to go but we'll find that out you know as the next couple weeks come on through. So yeah, there's that. Um, the AIF. Let's start. You know, let's talk and talk, talking about the games at least. Um, Corpus Christi Amarillo. Um, Corpus Christi stream. You know, was kind of messed up, but it's fine. You know, they stream for like an hour and a half before the game. Um, game actually started. They had the YouTube Kids thing on, so you know, that that's fine. And I mean, the game itself, really, I mean, the score, 76 50, I mean, really doesn't tell you how this game went, you know. I mean, because Corpus Christi was up like 68 to 26 at one point, and then Amarillo started to fight back a little bit. Um, honestly, Amarillo looks like the team that's going to be at the bottom of the AF with the way they've been playing so far. Cedar Rapids, of course, you know took care of another you know non-league opponent in Newton. You know, that game was supposed to be streamed, but it ended up not being streamed. In the NAL, a couple games happened, of course, there was one tonight and it was absolutely atrocious. I get it. Idaho didn't have a quarterback for a good chunk of it, but 42 to 6, ugh, Carolina, of course, you know, looking like the number two right now behind the number one in Omaha with, you know, Tommy Armstrong and company continuing to win, you know, Colorado, you know, put up a good fight, 
put up a real good fight. You know, they were in this game for a lot longer than I think people anticipated. So it's kind of it's kind of a weird, you know, dichotomy to me to where I think like Colorado, you know, is gonna be like the Tulsa of last year. And then Idaho might actually just be bad. I I don't know. I really don't know how to, you know, gauge my thoughts on the NAL teams right now because I just don't know. Because, again, a lot of these teams only play, like, one game or two, you know, at least real games that matter and everything like that. So, yeah. Of course, there's that crazy catch, you know, we're moving on to the IFL a little bit. Of course, that cr- that crazy catch in that Massachusetts Sioux Falls game, Alejandro Benefield, Thomas Owens. I mean, they, 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 they've been on it, you know, and Massachusetts continues to win, beating Sioux Falls 49-41 again. Frisco, Duke City, the game I went to, bit of a rough game. You know, it's honestly, Duke City isn't that bad. You know, they just make some mistakes. Frisco, of course, you know, riding the TJ Edwards train. And it just, you know, wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough, you know, firepower from Duke City to stop, you know, Frisco at the end of the day. Now, Naz Tucson was, you know, just absolute bar bar. But tonight, I mean, the San Diego, San Antonio game was an absolute crazy game in which there were so many lead changes in the last two or three minutes of this game. I mean, man, what a game from Nate Davis and Sam Cashanova. I mean, just an absolute duel. <laughs> and yet a defensive touchdown ends the game. So 69-61 there. Again, Northern Arizona beat Tucson 54-48. And what about, you know, two teams, you know, that are Consider you know the bigger brands. Yeah, that 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 didn't look too good. Jacksonville, Connor Blunt and company he didn't look too great against Vegas. Vegas gets the win. Bay Area, you know, gets another win against uh, Arizona. Which I mean, Arizona off to a middle league start, not what you expected. Jacksonville definitely not what you expect. I get that there's the adjustment period and everything like that. But, yeah, I did not expect Jacksonville to be 0-2 right now, but it is what it is there. So, yeah, this was a long, long weekend. And, well, at least, at least you know, we'll be back at it Saturday night about 11-ish. So, so catch you back. You know, on the flip side, in about five days or so, we'll talk a little bit more, you know, what in the world's been going on, you know, as far as, you know, getting more of a gauge of some of these teams and everything like that. And, yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you throughout the week because I do have some other stuff that needs to get on out and be said, you know, because there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to talk about, you know, over the next couple of weeks or so. Because, yeah, lots of videos are going to come out in the month of April. So prepare for the shower. And then in May, uh, hopefully you, you got me some flowers. If that, that, I guess that's how the analogy goes. I don't know. I don't know, man. Man. Yeah, that'll do it for me. Y'all, 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 y'all have a good rest of y'all's night. Uh, I'm going to sleep. <laughs>